So now let's summarize the ecosystem that we've either talked about or alluded to uh, during our previous discussions around the NetX90. Now the ecosystem is all of the tools and the hardware and the software that we put together to support your NetX90 development. We start of course with the chip itself and we provide um, specifications for the chip, we provide uh, packaging options for the chip, a, a variety of uh, production uh, services uh, made available to you for uh, shipping and sales and all of that centered around the hardware itself. Uh, above that we have the evaluation cards that you can use for designing your own hardware uh, and for beginning development of your software before your hardware is ready. Um, above that, we mentioned utilities, which we haven't talked about too much in this video. These are uh, uh, software utilities that support our PC cards that make it possible for you to have a, a master to emulate along with your NetX90 card uh, to simulate a complete communication system. We provide uh, a full set of end user software to control those at no charge uh, when you buy the, one of our other products such as our PC cards. We have already mentioned the NetX Studio which is the integrated development environment upon which all the NetX90 uh, software can be developed. It also includes the option for uh, editing your hardware layout, uh, your pin assignments, and, and adjusting the NetX90 till it meets exactly uh, the specifications that you need. Above that, we have a number of peripherals on the chip itself. They need drivers uh, to be able to drive the hardware, and so a full set of peripheral drivers are made available to you. We call these, we call this low-level software, but it's um, it is, these are drivers that you can incorporate in your code to abstract the hardware and make your own uh, software development easier. And then finally, the big value add of Hilscher devices is the fact that on this one single NetX architecture, uh, you have the ability to manage any of these protocols, uh, any of the Ethernet protocols or the field bus protocols, uh, and they're all available to you. Once you do the first one, the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one uh, become easier and easier because of the way Hilscher has uh, constructed and architected the, the NetX environment. So this whole ecosystem of software and hardware and production and sales and services made available to you to support the product. We have a whole array of support options available to you. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more in detail about some of the special options that are available. But in general, any technical help that you need can come from our NetX support group. They're responsible for managing any of the NetX 90 uh, requirements. For our master devices like our PC cards uh, and gateways, we also have a product support group that supports what we call the end user products. Those are things that you take out of the box and put in a cabinet and use. So this whole ecosystem of support, hardware, and software is made available for your NetX90 application. Finally, there are some services that I alluded to in the last slide uh, that I want to cover here. Uh, we, require, we provide a number of services for helping you to get certified with the certification organizations, uh, such as like ODVA for, uh, for Ethernet IP, or the PI organization for Profinet, or the ETG organization for EtherCAT. Uh, we can help you go through the process of doing a pre-certification test and then we have uh, an option to uh, send your device into, our, into the lab for um, certification testing and supporting that certification testing while it's there. Um, these are, there's a fee uh, associated with each of these but, uh, uh, but they're very helpful uh, if you don't have the resources to do it yourself. Uh, we also provide a schematic review. 
And I don't know how you put a value on having a 75% improvement uh, in the probability that your design is going to work uh, right out of the box. Uh, this can be a very economical way of making sure that you have a hardware design that, uh, that really will work for you. We can also provide support for plug fests and interoperability tests uh, or um, also hardware tests uh, like this integrity test. In addition, we provide some training. Um, LFW is our term for loadable firmware. Uh, this is protocol training, essentially. Um, LOM training is not is something we don't use anymore uh, with the NetX90, so you don't need to concern yourself with that. Uh, but that is for the older NetX products. We can help um, help a customer decide how to install their own application in the NetX prod product. And of course, then we provide trainings on these protocol stacks. Uh, these are all. Uh, placed in Germany and, and done in Germany and but they are available to you if you decide you want to take advantage of those. And finally, if you get to the place where your your netX design is almost done but you can't uh, you still have some lingering problems that you can't figure out, we also have the ability to host you in Germany with the engineers who designed and used the netX and uh, they can help you completely debug your design and get you completely running. Uh, all of these services, uh, trainings, and workshops uh, uh, require a fee. They can be a very economical thing to do uh, in the long run and in the broad view. Now that concludes this video uh, covering the uh, infrastructure for the NetX90. Uh, we hope that you will uh, continue on and look at the next video and continue your training uh, in NetX. Thank you for watching.